In this next few minutes, we will show you how sandblasting and carving is done and share some common sense practices when deciding which decorative glass solution to choose. Glass etching comprises the techniques of creating art on the surface of glass by applying acidic or abrasive substances. Sandblasting can be used as an accent to your stained glass or fused glass, or it can be the major aspect of your glasswork. Glass can be produced in different ways for different purposes. Sandblasting can be applied to both fused or blown glass. Traditionally etched glass and carved glass panels are made from prefabricated flat glass varying in thickness from 6 millimeters to 20 millimeters, which is about one inch. A three-dimensional design can be carved into the glass volume by using a deep carving technique where some parts of an image or pattern are carved deep into the glass while others are carved shallow or only surface etched. Applying varieties of pressure and the thickness of the sand can create visually stunning effects on the carved glass. The longer the abrasive stream is held in one spot, the more material will be removed. Moving the nozzle closer to the surface decreases the area being blasted and increases the rate of material removal. By moving further away, the area increases and the rate of removal decreases. If the nozzle is held very close to the material, a hole can be abraded through the surface very quickly. The first step in sandblasting is obtaining a pattern or design. After carefully sketching and conceptualizing the project, we will create a pre-production layout that will show the exact location of all the lines to be carved. After that, we will transfer imagery into a vector file and print it on a vinyl resist. A rubber or vinyl sheet material is applied to the item that is to be blasted. The sheet material, which is referred to as sandblast resist, is applied to the item to resist the effect of the abrasive stream. By cutting through and removing selected portions of the pattern, the unprotected surface of the item will be exposed to the abrasive stream, where material will be etched or carved away. This is called a positive etch, where only selected areas representing the pattern are etched. Using a painting motion and overlapping areas, a uniform etch can be obtained. Some designs allow the adjacent pattern areas to touch and to shade the different areas by having a lighter etch in some areas and a heavier etch in other areas. This technique of deep carving is difficult to master and requires a good artistic sense of black and white shading. An alternate etch, known as a negative etch, can be achieved by leaving the resist on the pattern and removing the background areas. Functionally, that allows for the back surface of the etched glass to remain smooth. This can be useful for creating glass murals and backsplashes. It can be mounted on standoffs or glued with adhesive silicones used for the installation of mirrors. Different techniques of etching over decorative foil can be added for creativity. This sample contains a combination of decorative foil etching and airbrushing enamel paints in the style of watercolor. Carved and painted glass can remain translucent and be used for windows, entry doors, and partitions, or it can be painted opaque with the backside of the glass muted so it can't be seen through. The glass artist must stay away from areas that have already been carved to preserve the detail in that section. By carving the glass in stages, intricate sculptures can be created in a two-dimensional piece of glass. Carving can also be applied to a stacked glass wall, creating design accents and textures. Carved glass panels can be installed in window or door units or laminated to create countertops and stairs. Carved art glass paintings look most beautiful when illuminated by sunlight. Transitions can create certain moods and glass shower doors can carry original branding imagery. The sun's rays going through the transparent colored glass gives it a glow that no artificial light can match. It inspires imagination. 
Watch our next video on painted and decorative glass to learn more about that. Palace of Glass has an award-winning production crew that will help you with your order from start to finish. We will help you understand the styles and kinds of decorative glass suitable for your project and provide a free estimate. Contact us for a free consultation today.